King Nation Nova Slate, Nova Chronicles. It's your boy Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional World. Now, by request, we'll be doing double tape. We'll be doing the Taurus female and the Pisces woman. Man. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, Pisces man. So it's the Taurus woman, Pisces man? Yes. Oh, man. I think I. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm going to roll with it. Let's All right, go. so you want me to start off? You can start off. Okay. Yeah. So we did the Pisces uh, woman and the Taurus man, which I've stated that I have not dated many Pisces women because I just don't know what they want and I'm not in the vicinity of what they want. But here we meet the, the charming Pisces man who's going to come with all these comfort, comfort, comforting things to say about this beautiful Taurus woman. This will get her blessed and it will get her happy. This will feel like she can grow with this man. They both are dreamers. They just kind of dream a different way. The Taurus woman wants to dream about something that's very realistic, very stable, and that's very common. It's just that it's her perspective of things. The Pisces man want to dream more things that outside the box can be different, can be something you never ever thought about and be unique in its own type of way. But since they're both dreaming and both dreams are very optimistic, they will click in, click in jail, even though one's more of a fantasy and more, one's more of a reality. So, you want to jump on this? All right, so the Pisces and the Taurus. My dude here is a Taurus. He's pretty laid back. Plans, most things, not as organized as a Capricorn, but still on the track. And a Pisces, uh, that's my mother, overly sensitive, very dramatic, um, holds grudges, and loves unconditionally. So, we're flipping that. Flip, 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 flop it. All right, so a female Taurus is kind of grounded. Cause she's an earth sign so she's kind of grounded she's pretty mellow so her mellowness and his optimistic dreaming they go together because she dreams rationally mm -hmm. and the Pisces man dreams irrational but together they're on level ground like neither one of them is above the other the sex is incredible um, the only problem that Allies is if the Pisces is going through something, can the Taurus still hang on or be supportive through that situation? If the Taurus can't be supportive through the situation, then that Pisces will move on to another because they don't have a problem with cutting off obsolete delete. So, what you got? I think the Pisces don't like to argue, and the Taurus would cherish this a lot. I think, like I say, they both are dreamers, dreamers in different realms, and that can be good and bad. I think the beginning of the stage it will be great and awesome, amazing, exciting because whatever you first meet is new to you. Mm -hmm. You first meet something new to you, so they will very they will keep the Pisces man intrigued. The problem is, will he still be intrigued after years go by and the excitement that was once seen by the Tars is now then got well, normalized then. to yeah. a routine now. That's the thing. I think love conquer all. I think love conquers all. Yeah. Hmm. I think that the Pisces will get in a situation where he used to this Taurus woman. And I think he will bring a little bit more of a hip hippierness out of her. She's a little bit more grounded and more wall walled out, bricked out. Like I said, the only problem I see is the Taurus being boring to him after years and years passing by. If that don't happen with the Pisces, because the Pisces can't check out. Mentally. Yeah, mentally and emotionally, emotionally, you don't even know. He's still doing the same thing physically, but his mind, his heart is no longer there. And the Taurus would not pick up on this like that because she'd just be happy. So with these two signs, how do you feel about this? How do I feel about these two signs? I think, like we both said, in the initial beginning, things are good, things are new. You get, you get thumbs up for that. When the rocky times hit, things get rough and they're not what the other expects it should be, I give it three down. So if it's not where it should be, this relationship won't work. When they first meet, it's all happy and bliss. So two up for bliss, three down for actual working out. I think that I'm going to do one score. And the reason I say this is because I feel like it's more upside than down. Okay. I think that the Pisces man, if he's mature in his own nature, he know what he done dealt with, with other signs. He finally got him a woman that is not too fast for him and not going to move around too much and going to really 
uh, appreciate the compliments that he will give to this woman. So with that being said, I had to give it two up and one down. So I give it two up and one down, positive score. If you a Pisces man and you're dating a Taurus woman, or you're a Taurus woman dating a Pisces man, let us know. Well, this your boy Ken A. Snow Slate, Nova Chronicles. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Newsflash. KLD Records 2.biz. Go check it out. Your boy got new music on there every day. I'm pumping, pumping, pumping. New books on the way. Stay tuned. Yep. This your boy. And Peace. this your boy, Diz. Peace. Peace.